Brendan Rodgers, Peter Lawwell, Gordon Strachan, Danny McGrain, Billy Stark and Willie Hockey were just a few of the guest speakers as the Celtic Graves Society remembered Tommy Burns, the Celtic fan who got lucky ten years after his passing. Sadness and humour combined, it was a fitting tribute to a man who will never be forgotten. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Celtic Graves Society's 40th ceremony in our eight years. And this is where it gets personal. Because Tommy Burns was a man we all know and love. One of Tommy's most apt quotes was when you pull on that jersey, you're not just playing for a football club, you're playing for a people and a cause. It summed up that iconic bond that Tommy had with the support. He was a living embodiment of the Celtic spirit. He played for the jersey he loved and he never forgot his working class roots. He was one of our own. I think the first thing I want to say is congratulate Brendan and thank him and the Grave Society for putting on today, but also the great work that they've done in the past and I'm sure we'll do the future to preserve the, the memories of the Celtic Greats. I'm sure we all can't believe that it's 10 years since, since Tommy passed, the tragic early passing of, of Tommy. And that passing had a, a really profound effect on everybody at the club. But at that time, I think our thoughts and concerns were mainly with, with Rosemary, with Michael, Jonathan, Jenna and Emma, and the anguish and pain and indescribable, unimaginable grief that they were going through at that time. And then, in a hope today, we we would hope that they take some comfort from the love that Tommy had from everybody at Celtic, from our supporters in the Celtic community. Tommy Burns was a was and always will be one of Celtic's favourite sons. Uh, he epitomised, he, he was Celtic. He personified Celtic uh, as a man, as a human being. He carried the values, uh, humility, diversity, inclusion, family, charity. He was a wonderful man and humour. Humour was another obviously great aspect to him. A wonderful man uh, with Celtic running through his blood. Fast the bombs, a great chance for Celtic from the third. Brilliantly finished. 3-1 to Celtic. He, he used to say the most inappropriate things at the wrong time. <laughs> <laughs> and you, European games or firm games or people used to think he was giving me tactics and he was saying something totally inappropriate and stupid. <laughs> um, but it was well worth uh, coming here. As I said, the, the biggest bonus of being the Celtic manager was being um, Tommy Bond. So I've got that, I know the Burns family now, so that's a bonus. And uh, I heard about the Celtic way here, yeah, because Tommy Burns, you know, how wonderful he was, a nice guy, religion, but he had an incredible determination about him. You need that determination to be a footballer, and you need it sometimes with religion, so I'm told. Um, <laughs> so if the Celtic way is, if you come near me against that, can I break your leg? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get you, my girl's got to get you. <laughs> I would watch him walk. I would just stalk him. You know, I would just in awe of Tommy. You know, I would see him outside. It was the old ground at at, at Reading. And it was called Ellen Park, and it was a little shop. I would pop into the shop and come out, and I seen Tommy. I can see it as clear as day now. Walking up the side of the, the the street to go to the ground, and he was wearing his long trench coat, and he had a he had a brown sort of bag to keep all these folders and everything in. And he just was class. And, and from that very early stage, as a coach, I was looking at him and I wanted to be top friends. To the fans, um, I think my dad said, was it in 1988? No, 1988, ironically enough, um, he said they were there and they're always there. And I think to this day, you've yet to prove them wrong. So, well done. Thank you. Brendan. <coughs> um, I think very often life will pass away and they get the nicest words said about them and the nicest flowers sent to the house, which is fantastic. But it's the day after the funeral that you remember the world keeps on turning and people go back to their work and we've got our own families to look after and it's that kind of living to live with that kind of loneliness and that kind of grief and that realisation that person's gone. But where we're lucky as a family is that we've got 
this kind of situation where people, I mean, I can't remember the last time my dad was mentioned, there wasn't people turning up in the hundreds of thousands to support us and to remember him. So we've got that and we're very lucky and not everyone has that. And that's something that has really, really helped us, you know, come to terms with my dad's death. And it's really helped for the past 10 years. So a massive, massive thank you to you all, for me and for my family. Thank you. And it's always the, the words I always think are most apt here of, of the, look, that famous quote from Willie Maley, uh, which he said back in 1931 following John Thompson's death. And it's really appropriate today as we're all gathered here. If they never die, they'll live in the hearts they'll leave behind. God bless Tommy Burns. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let the perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed in the mercy of God.